Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we have uh, a new tool that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, this company called Hichika uh, contacted me a while ago and they wanted me to review one of their tools. Um, obviously um, and as, a, as an exchange for a genuine review I get a free tool which again it's always uh, nice to get something free. So in today's video we have a uh, Hichika cordless garden pruner. This is a, an 8 inch 20 centimeter bar. Um, and it's a tool that has a 4 amp hour lithium ion 18 volt battery. Um, again, I own a similar tool and um, it's not made by the same manufacturer. You can see it below on the bottom shelf. It's uh, made by Milwaukee. It's a Milwaukee hatchet 6 inch uh, pruning saw uh, or hatchet or cordless saw, one hand chainsaw, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. It's a small chainsaw, battery operated, and is designed for light use around the house and your property. Um, it's not designed to obviously cut any serious logs or any big trees or anything like that. So you leave that to the professional forestry chainsaws. But what we're going to do today in today's video, we're going to have a look at this. Um, we're going to open the box. The box is completely sealed. So I haven't opened the box. I haven't seen the contents yet. So we're going to look at the build quality. We're going to go over some of the specs. I'm going to compare um, this machine to the Milwaukee machine because it's the closest thing I have, uh, I, per I personally own. Um, so we're going to compare the two machines together. Uh, we're going to talk about the differences and uh, whenever we finish with this we're going to go outside and cut a little bit of wood. Um, so I've prepared um, hardwood, softwood, we're going to cut some light stuff, some heavier stuff. So we'll put it through the test, um, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, let's not waste any time, let's open the box and see what's inside. Seems um, like it's very well packed. Mm, this is great to see that there's some oil as well. So the manufacturer has kindly included some chain oil as well. Um, you've got uh, an Allen key with a flat screwdriver on the top. So this is probably for tightening the chain. And let's get the actual saw out. It's actually assembled, so we don't really have to waste time and do much. Um, um, to the saw itself to assemble it. The chain feels a little bit loose so we're gonna have to obviously um, tighten it. But before we get to that let's um, check the battery and the charger. Make sure that everything is in here. Great, we have a spare chain as well. Okay so we have the charger, we have, uh, we have the battery. So what I would love to do is charge the battery first. Um, this is the four amp hour lithium ion battery, um, which looks decent enough. And when you press the button, uh, you can obviously see how many bars of, uh, of charge you have. So we have three bars, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long for this battery to be fully charged. And it's just a standard 3-pin UK, um, UK type plug charger. Um, so, let's put the battery on the charger to charge it. And then we're going to talk about uh, the quality build of this tool in a moment. Before we go any further, I still have a little bit more time. The battery is on the charger and I want to have it fully charged before we start cutting and before we check how many actually cuts uh, we can make on a full battery charge. So um, what I want to do is I want to fill up the oil tank here uh, for the chain lubrication. So I'm going to gently pour, see if I will actually uh, be able to fit the whole amount inside the little tank here. No, so you will probably have enough for two top-ups. So as you see, I've taken everything out of the box. Um, what you see is basically what you get in the box. You have the manual, you have the Allen key with a flat screwdriver, the oil, spare chain, battery charger, and the tool itself. Now, um, off camera, what I've done off camera, I've compared um, the two tools uh, together with the Milwaukee hatchet, which I will just bring in a second. 
I'm going to put the two tools side by side so you can hopefully see the difference. As we said, 8 inch, 6 inch bar and chain. Um, however, um, this bar is slightly different shape and design. And it's actually a little bit thicker than um, the Hichika bar. The Hichika bar has a different profile. It's more like a carving saw, um, if you have seen any of the steel carving saws. So it's thinner at the front and then it gets a wee bit wider here towards the base. The Hichika saw has a, a much thinner teeth and will probably um, hopefully cut um, quicker, maybe not as aggressive, but maybe quicker through lighter material. Another thing which is quite important when it comes to these tools um, as you're going to be obviously holding this with one hand um, so I checked the weight of these two tools um, completely uh, ready to go so battery on um, full of oil so this was 2.3 kg and this was 2.15 kg this is about 150 grams lighter than the Milwaukee. But again, Milwaukee has a, a 6.0 battery, so maybe this is where the weight comes. The only one thing that I, I really like about the Milwaukee saw is that you have this um, little wrench here uh, for taking the knot off and tightening the bar and the chain, and it is built into the tool, so you can't lose it. It's there if you need it. If you're going somewhere, all you need to just grab the saw and that's it. Uh, this one has uh, uh, an allen key type um, tool and I don't see any place where I can keep it on the tool so maybe this is something some feedback for the manufacturer uh, maybe they can um, uh, find a place somewhere to include it on your models when they upgrade them um, and I did find that um, uh, the plastic now the plastic um, that the tool is made of um, it, it, the Milwaukee one, it just feels a little bit more superior, superior quality. Uh, but again, you have big difference in the price. You have 150 for everything with a spare chain, and you have um, 150 just for the bare tool. So you have to buy your own battery and a charger separately. So 100 pounds difference, uh, roughly. So if you're going to use this maybe once or twice a year, I leave it with you to decide which one you're going to go for. So let's um, let the charger do its, its thing and let's charge the battery and then we're going to go outside and cut a little bit of wood. Okay folks, um, so we're outside and we're uh, just about to start the, excite the exciting part. We've done all the boring technical stuff. Um, so it's about time to have a bit of fun and cut some uh, material. So we have some hardwood and softwood. Um, this is 3 quarter inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch. Um, the manufacturer claims that this uh, tool will cut 86 times in 4 inch round stock or round wood. Um, this is uh, obviously 4 by 4 square as you can see. Um, and uh, here we have 6.5 inch or 17 centimeters in metric. Uh, in the widest part of the, of the uh, log uh, we have some apple wood. So uh, we'll start with the lighter stock and then we move on to the thicker material. Um, I'm going to put my ear protection on and let's get going. Absolutely no issues uh, with cutting the obviously very light material. Um, it did it uh, with absolute ease. Now um, just checking the chain. Be careful obviously when you're checking your chain, have your finger away from the trigger. I'm checking the chain, it's not loose. Normally what happens when you have a brand new machine, you start cutting and then uh, because the chain and the bar are brand new, um, they loosen up a little bit or the chain loosens up a little bit. But in this case, this hasn't really moved much, um, which is great. So let's go uh, with the three inch material.
okay three inch absolutely no issues now four inch So, uh, this machine has actually surprised me by how good it is, uh, to be absolutely honest with you. Um, it has cut obviously 3 quarter inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch. Um, you can see a pile of wood here, absolutely no issues. So before we move to the heavier materials, I know obviously we've used quite a lot of the charge here, uh, but we, we, before we move on to the 6.5 inch uh, hardwood, um, I want to check um, how much charge we have and believe it or not, we have full charge, we have three bars. So this is very, very impressive. It means that the battery is decent. Um, so I've secured this uh, with a strap here and uh, I'm gonna start cutting maybe, yes, yeah, same chunks uh, and see, see what happens. I'll let you uh, make your own mind. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Six and a half inch apple wood. This is hardwood and it's seasoned. It's been drying for about two or three years and it's cut with absolutely no issues. No hesitation, it didn't, didn't stop even once. Um, I didn't push it hard. As I said, I'm, I was just resting my hand on the tool. Um, but to be honest with you, this is absolutely impressive. What I'll do now, as a comparison, we're gonna get the Milwaukee hatchet and what we're gonna do um, we're gonna attempt to cut um, this six and a half inch I know the bar is six inch so we're probably gonna have to uh, maybe move a little bit but let's see the difference between uh, the 100 plus uh, pounds more expensive Milwaukee tool Okay, so hopefully you saw the difference between uh, the Hichika and Milwaukee. Again, I'm not gonna put a, a stopwatch here. This is not a competition. We are not gonna tame these machines, but it was just to show you uh, the difference between um, a maybe top manufacturer and something that um, you, may, you may not uh, have heard of ever. So um, this was a lot more comfortable to obviously work with a, a larger 8 inch blade. I'm not uh, giving a bad review to this tool here, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but I just wanted to show you the difference um, of, uh, of the, the cutting um, with the obviously extra 2 inches of uh, length. So let's do another cut and let's check how many bars we have on the battery here first again this is showing me full three bars this is absolutely amazing i mean i hope it doesn't just die on me but it looks uh, pretty good i mean i have a smile on my face i'm pretty impressed so i'm gonna keep cutting Okay, the machine did stop a few times. Uh, so we're uh, basically one bar, we have one bar left of charge. So we're probably very, very close to um, the battery being uh, fully drained. So let's go.
Okay, up first stop. Second stop. Third stop. Okay, so yeah, we're getting the the, the gist. So um, I don't want to overheat the battery um, and uh, and the tool. So this is it. It stopped three times, and we're sitting at one bar, but you could feel that it doesn't have uh, any more power. So you may cut a small branch, but I don't want to cut any more of this uh, thick material. So as you can see, uh, we can count it if you want, but we have so much material here. Um, you could get up to maybe, depending obviously on how much you're cutting, uh, if you're constantly cutting, you can get over maybe, uh, maybe over half an hour of cutting time here, maybe, maybe more. Um, but yeah, I think this concludes the review of this tool. Um, I'm pretty impressed. Um, I cut so much material uh, with one charge of this uh, 4 amp 18 volt lithium ion battery. So yeah, I think um, I'm going to leave it up to you to make up your own mind, um, but I'm pretty impressed with this little machine. So this was definitely um, something I could recommend to my friends and family. So thank you again for watching and uh, see you very soon.